What's happening beautiful people my name is Dirty Mike and welcome to the in-depth crossing tutorial and if you enjoy this type of content please drop a like pass it around the community show it to your friends so we can get this going out to a much larger audience and I'm going to be going over a couple different techniques with the early cross we also have the 2v1 sweat and you run into this circumstance almost every single match you've got the manual cross that you can use down the line as well as the cutback and we've just got a lot of different variations and before I begin if you guys need any ultimate team coins check out fifacoinstoday.com the links will be in the description and make sure to use the code mikeso9 M-I-C-H-S-0-9 in order to get an additional 10% off on every single purchase to kick things off we've got Mr. Efficient the early cross and in order to execute this maneuver, if you're on the Xbox One, you're going to be holding LB plus X. And if you're on the PS4, you're looking at L1 plus square. Freeze frame, Jovic is wide open in the middle. How are we going to get there? Absolutely going to use and abuse with that early cross near post. Casillas can't do anything. And in terms of aiming, if you're using the early cross, you don't have to do all that much. It'll naturally place it just in front of either the oncoming striker or the oncoming defender which makes things very easy and for crossing settings I am using semi assisted which is very important I want to make that very clear because this is the point of perspective that I'm telling you how to do things in this tutorial I believe that semi assisted is the default when you go to settings uh, but if not make sure to change that welcome to the early cutback which is actually a reversal of the early cross and as you can see in the first clip I need you guys to take notice is the provider the guy that's crossing the ball is so crucial for this to be successful you have to get the proper angle it needs to start from a diagonal in order to get the right in swinger and it helps a lot if you have a right footed player on the left side of the pitch a left footed player on the right side of the pitch because you're going to be using that foot unless they have a really strong weak foot it could get a little out of hand so we have Arnautovic here he's whipping the ball into the guy in the middle there's a lot of space and I love using uh, this type of cross it's a great mix up it adds more variation into your wing game and it makes people have to respect you otherwise they're going to concede goals the last of the early crosses is known as the 2v1 sweat and I wasn't sure if I wanted to include this in the tutorial however I just wouldn't be doing justice if it wasn't on the books if it wasn't on the to-do list if it wasn't a priority because it scored oh so often and the reason that this cross is so effective is it's just a normal early cross, but you have a huge margin for error. There's a higher percentage of you scoring if you use the cross with the sweat as opposed to just passing it across the middle of the box. The keeper never has a chance. Players don't switch nearly as well as they should, and goals are going to be scored. It's also known as the wager cross or the true player cross, as Nepenthes would say. Now we're talking about manual crosses. We're looking at the down the line. And as you progress farther down the line, you no longer can do the early cross. It's not going to go where you want it to. The keeper is going to come out and block it. Sometimes it will go out of play entirely. And it's just not that consistent. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to whipping in crosses and having the right movement, the correct timing, looking for the guy on the back post. And that's what the majority of the time when I'm going down the line, I'm trying to hit the back post man. And if you need to cut it back, you're using the left stick to aim. And you're just going to have a little bit of a tad of a cutback. It has a normal in-swinger, so you don't need to do too much. It takes a little time to get used to. And look at these finishes. Honda makes that look so simple. And the idea behind going down the line and crossing is it increases your opportunity to score goals. But you don't want to early cross. you got to switch it up. Heading into the manual cutback, it's fairly similar to the beforehand mentioned early cross cutback. However, you no longer have to have a diagonal angle for the provider. It's a lot more direct. It's very straightforward as we cut to the middle and Henderson provides. Suarez is never going to miss that. And I like doing this cross always aiming for the near post man. I feel like if you put it right before the near post guy, he can cut in front of the center back or even the outside defender, whoever may be covering that that striker and he's gonna score goals and it looks about the same in terms of animation and anytime you can build up consistency that's always a good look for scoring goals on a much higher percentage than you normally would in FIFA look at that almost two identical goals from Suarez and I like to use one maybe two bars for power depending on distance when you're providing that type of cross but if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter at Mike's9USA and I have a lot more content come for you ASAP ASAP